guys so this is gonna be the quickest tutorial on how to make a time lapse with DaVinci Resolve now the latest beta version of DaVinci Resolve added this really really cool feature that is kind of like um, auto detect time lapse I don't know how to describe it. I didn't read it on the features added features on the beta version I just usually install the latest so for your information, as of August 13, this is the latest beta version of DaVinci Resolve 16. If you want to make a time lapse, you used to have to go through all your photos, put them together on a timeline, and then, you know, set the timing for each interval of each photo. So it's like if you want to shoot 24 frames per second, you have to add 24 photos per second of the video. Not anymore. But here I got a folder of all the photos I took of one meteor shower I was doing and it was about almost 200 photos three, around there. And all you gotta do is go to DaVinci Resolve, go to where your photos are, which is here under my Capture 111 export and I created a folder for my meteor shower time lapse. Now supposedly I'm supposed to see a bunch of JPEGs right here, but I don't. So if I go to the meteor, and shower and see all the random photos that I took. These are not a sequence, so it doesn't see them as a time lapse. It's just see them as photos. But if I go to where I have a bunch of pictures, a sequence of photos, it actually sees them as a movie. Automatically, it detects that this is a time lapse. Point at the folder where all your photo sequence are. It will see them as a movie. Just drag it into your bin and there you go you have a movie right here a movie file and all you gotta do is create a timeline with that if we zoom in we can actually see the whole movie sequence that is really really cool right sweet so timelines just got a lot easy with DaVinci Resolve the better version that's it literally i told you is the this is the easiest way to make a time lapse again so as a review batch all your photos together in one folder locate the folder in davinci's uh, media tab import it will already automatically see it as a one movie file so you don't even have to see a bunch of pictures drag them into your bin and do any adjustments you need to make export that's it literally that is all we gotta do and you have yourself a nice time lapse all right guys i hope you enjoyed this really quick quick tutorial on how to make a time lapse with davinci resolve 16 beta version uh enjoy the rest of the time lapse so i'll see you guys on the next one peace